I'm going to show you how we can process a receivables transaction in Microsoft Dynamics GP. In the sales module, we're going to select receivable batches. In the receivable batch entry window, you would enter in a batch ID. I typically recommend that you enter your initial and the date. For the origin, we're going to select transaction entry. If you like to describe the type of transactions that you're keying into the batch, you can use the comment field. The frequency will be set as single use. You can enter your posting date and the checkbook ID, then select transactions on the bottom right. We're going to enter an invoice, but when I select the drop down arrow button to the right, you can see all the other choices. When you hit tab, the system increments the next sales number. Then you select your customer ID. You enter in your sales amount. Then select distributions on the bottom right. Then you want to validate your distribution, making sure your debits and credits balance. You can select the GL account by selecting on the magnifying glass to the right. I'm going to select OK. Then we will print our invoice. We'll print it to screen. Then close the window when you finish entering your transactions. Then in the receivables batch entry window, you're going to select the magnifying glass, select your batch. I always recommend that you print the edit list before you post. It's always a great idea to validate the information that you've keyed in. Then select post. Please visit our website at www.bdosolutions.ca.